hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here hi my name is Becky, and please do consider subscribing to my youtube channel and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back and thank you so much for returning i really do appreciate you coming back to watch another video or just watch my videos in general and also just um engaging with me in the comment section so as you guys can tell by the title of this video we are doing another story time <laughs> so i decided to do another story time i've been wanting to tell the story actually but i don't know i don't know so today i decided oh you know what let me just tell the story which is very funny now that i think about it now but when it happened then it was not funny at all it was not funny so let's just not waste any more time let's get straight into the story so as you can tell by the title of the video the the name of the story is me losing my passport a few days before i had to fly back home I worked at World Disney World, actually Disney, I worked at Disney, it was an internship for a year and yeah, so I worked there, like working at Disney, if I had to describe one word about working at Disney, I would say magical because wow, everything there was just magical, um, you know, um, Disney is about Mickey Mouse, um, with Cinderella. So working there almost felt like I'm living my childhood again. You know, it was just a wonderful experience. And I always say Disney is, I think it is the, the best company I've ever worked for. And will, yeah, I don't think there's any other company can that can beat Disney. Like everything there was just... It was amazing it was really amazing and i made a lot of memories i met a lot of people and yeah but we're not here to talk about my experience working at disney if you want to hear more about my experience working at disney you can just let me know down below so we lived while working at disney we lived in what we called housing so that is where all the people that were on an internship to live so there were people from all over the world people from china my i had a chinese roommate i had a, a roommate from morocco um like people all over the world all over africa you know so what they would do is each season they would take um like a group a group of candidates and then they would then come to work so it would be like for our internship it would be everybody from africa from namibia zimbabwe um we had somebody from burundi once south africa of course botswana a lot of people from botswana and yeah so we lived in housing and life at housing was about partying like it was just about partying everything was about partying and i think also because we also lived amongst people who just came from high school and it's their first time living away from home they're exploring you know it's exciting for them to party and yeah by the way this happened after my me completing my um diploma it's my hospitality diploma yeah so i was done with varsity so yeah at housing we lived with a lot of different people from all over the world from like i said from china japan you name it korea like you name it americans you know it was just a mix of everybody and yeah like i said life was about partying and partying wouldn't be only on friday saturday sunday it would be every single day like every single day there's a party like on a monday there's a certain party tuesday there's a certain party there were days where there was a party bus that would pick us up and we'd go partying so also what happened when there would be like um a group that was that was coming we would do like an orientation where we would welcome it would be like a greet and meet amongst all the um, south africans or the everybody from africa it would be like mostly us south africans 
uh, people from Botswana, um, but I think it was just a South African, I can't remember, but something like that. And then this is like almost like nine years ago, guys. <laughs> so this would happen and we'd meet and greet and it would be a party that would cook food, alcohol, drink, you know, the works. And also when a group leaves, because it's an, a year internship, when a group leaves, we'd also throw a... Um, farewell party and we would either have it at somebody's place or we would go out partying so when it was time for our group to leave we decided that we're gonna go okay sorry about that so we decided that we're gonna go out to a club and i also forgot to mention when you go out clubbing in america they're very, they're very strict with age restriction at a club. So it's 21, no under 21s. You have to be 21 and above. And you actually need to have um, proof that you're 21. You can't just rock up there and because, oh, I look old enough, I will go in. <laughs> they're so strict there. So we would have to go out with our passports when we went out party so we'd go out with our passports they didn't take our south african ids as proof so we'd have to always take our passports <laughs> all right so on that night we went well obviously i had my passport on me um we organized and i just remember that i was very very excited that night a lot of we are going clubbing and we're gonna go party you know um you know there's a saying i know in Bailey there's a saying i don't know if it's a saying it's Bailey, but they always say that like like if i'm translating it into english i would say it's more like you're just too excited and it's gonna end in tears something like that you know <laughs> Yeah, so I was really excited that night. We went to the club. Um, the name of the club was called Grey Goose. So Disney is located in 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 Orlando. It's called Orlando. Orlando. Yeah, it's called Orlando. So that's where it's located. And there is a place called Downtown. Like I feel like Downtown almost means CBD. But I feel like comparing the CBD and comparing it to our CBD, go to work. To work is a bit too much. Like, it's too much. It's, mm, no. <laughs> so, but I feel like that is what C, um, downtown means. So, all the nice clubs were in downtown, you know. Um, and I remember at our orientation, they warned us about going to downtown because a lot of crazy things happen there. You know, there are a lot of shootings that happen there and it's just not a safe place to go. But did we listen? No. And I don't know if you guys remember a few years ago, there was a shooting that happened in America at a gay club where they just shot in the club and people died. That happened in Orlando in downtown. That's exactly the way they said we shouldn't go. And I've been to a gay club in in um, downtown Orlando. So I'm not sure if it's the same club that the shooting happened or what. But I'm sure there's a lot of gay clubs. So we used to go clubbing there all the time. And we didn't listen when they told us don't go there. Thank God nothing bad ever happened to us. Um, so okay, on that night we went to downtown. We went to the club. It was called Great Goose. Um, we got there and... I think the reason why we loved Grey Goose, that club, so much, Grey Goose, because it was sort of like what we see America on TV, you know? Um, there's more Americans there, you know? The handsome American girls, those ones with the six pack, you know? Like, there's matured people. Because some of the clubs that we used to go to, you'd meet the people we work with from Disney, and some of them are just like, they kids, they're childish, you know? Um, So... We liked Great Goose because it was just, yeah, it was, it was very mature. It was a mature place to be, you know, it was a nice place to be, you know. Uh, so we went to Great Goose. It was a rooftop kind of club. It was so nice. It was so nice. Um, it was me, my friends that I'd met there and other, other people that 
we knew from the internship but they were in a different group so we were pretty close with each other we we're like a family um so we went out together and i remember we were with this girl from botswana me and her were so excited the way we were drinking the way we were taking shots shots of vodka till today like today like as a drinker i do drink alcohol now but i do not i do not drink vodka because i feel like vodka is vodka is dangerous like vodka has its people i came across a tiktok video where a girl said vodka has its people like older you kind of know what your body likes like me now i can't drink vodka don't yeah. bring that shit next to oh, me oh wow vodka is for people with strong blood i did drink russians her. They can have those ones that 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 when they're young, they don't give them toys. They give, yeah, them, bricks. They give them bricks. They give them bricks. Like those people <laughs> and spanners and spanners. To, listen, those people can handle vodka. Yeah. You see, us pedestrians, us human, regular humans, I can't. So, I it has its people, and I am not that person. But on that day, I used to drink vodka back then, but now I don't. So we're drinking like vodka. We're drinking shots. You know, we're just drinking. Drink, we're excited. Like we're excited. And you know you're that excited when you just drink too much. The night ends by you waking up in your bed and you're just like, how did I get here? <laughs> yeah, so it was nice. Like, it was a nice night. Honestly, it was a very nice night. I had so, so, so much fun. I had so much fun. Honestly, I don't remember anything when it comes to my passport. I just remember going to the club. I showed them that I'm legal to be in the club, you know. Went into the club and I was carefree, you know, because honestly, America is a very safe place. You could literally drop money on the floor and come back and you'll find it well. Certain parts of it, you know, there are certain parts where it's like it's dangerous you know that you wouldn't you would drop money you wouldn't find it but in most cases if you drop money you you leave your cell phone you will find it so i was just carefree you know having fun so i wake up in the morning i'm in bed and i was like god how did i get here <laughs> yesterday last night was 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 lit like it was fun <laughs> You know, so I reach out to my bag to get my phone. I get my phone and I was like, my bag was a tiny bag. Like I've always liked mini bags. So it was a mini bag. Whereas when I opened it, okay, I took my phone, but I could notice my, my passport was not in there. And I was like, okay. And then my bank card was not in there. Okay. So, um... I'm really not stressed about it at that point. I call a few of my friends, contact them and ask them, hey, do you have my passport? No, we don't have, I don't have your passport. Call the next friend. Hey, what's up? You know, do you have my passport? No. Like I call all the people we went out with. Like nobody had my passport. Nobody had my passport. Okay. Now I'm starting to stress, but okay, I don't have my passport and I'm supposed to be flying back home in like, it was I think in a week, you know? Okay, okay. so I made sure that I asked everybody that we went out with and I remember we also went out with these other guys. They were in the program long before us, um, but they decided that they're going to stay in America don't know how get married or whatever they did but they decided to stay in america so we also went out with them so also contact them do you guys have our passport no <laughs> yeah okay so now i'm stressing i'm stressing i'm stressing and my passport is nowhere to be found i call the club maybe i dropped it there they're not answering um because they're only open on wednesdays only 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 on wednesdays so i had to go report it um with management that you know what i've lost my passport like management offers me that i've lost my passport and i'm flying in a few days like in a week's time and i was obviously asked where did i lose it? and i told them where i lost it and i've been trying to call them all day and they're not answering so 
I'm guessing they are closed. And remember they had warned us not to go to downtown. So they were not happy with that. So what happened is we had to call the police. And then they had to get in contact, somehow get in contact with the management of the club. And then they did so and they went to search the place, like they searched the place. There was no passport. Nobody had seen a passport. And they called me back and they told me like, they searched the place, there is no passport. Nobody handed in a passport. Yo, guys, was I not stressed? I was so, so, so stressed. Um, So what I had to do was get in contact with the South African embassy. Is it embassy? Yeah, I think it's embassy. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry. Um, but I had to get in contact with them, so I explained the situation. So they told me that I need to come down um, to Washington DC to get a temporary passport. Whew. So now I have to book a flight from Orlando to Washington DC. So. I had already booked my flight to home and the way that I had booked, booked it was I was flying from Orlando to New York and then stay like a day in New York like just see New York and then fly back home so I had to change the plans I had to fly to Washington DC so that's what I had to do so um I booked my flight to Washington DC and flew to Washington DC and when I flew there I had no plan on booking a hotel or you know anything like that you know I thought I was just gonna do it and then maybe fly to New York and then stay a night there but when I arrived in Washington DC like the embassy was closed on that day not closed on the day but I arrived a bit too late and I found it closed. Yo, stressed. Ah, yo, stressed. So, the driver that dragged me off there, I think I was the last person that, it was a taxi from the airport, that I was the last person that he dropped off. So, he's like, the embassy is closed. What are you going to do now? So, I told him what I came to do. He asked me. He was an African man. He asked me, what are you going to do there? And... I told him exactly what I'm going to go do there. I lost my passport. I need to fly home. Now they're closed. He's like, where are you going to sleep? I'm like, I don't know if I should book a place. He's like, to me, I shouldn't be wandering around here because it's not really a safe place. I could get robbed or something. Yo, was I not scared? And he's like, to me, um, if I'm okay with it, I can go sleep at his place. You know, he's got a spare room. I can go sleep at his place. He was an old man, guys. He was an old man, I think when we actually spoke and had a conversation his kids were old enough to be my i was old enough to be his child because his kids were the same age as me you know he was a very old man so i felt like you know it's okay um i should feel safe around this person even though it's not 100 percent guaranteed because people are weird people are psychos especially in america maybe it was an american i wouldn't really trust because Guys, Americans, I don't know. Banalibu Saikunyan. But he was from Africa. I just can't remember which country. So I was like, okay. And he's like, he'll drop me off at the embassy in the morning. Okay. Yeah, we went. I um, went to buy food. And he was really just a nice person. And I feel like he was just God sent. And yeah, the next morning, woke up, bathed. And then he took me to the embassy. And he was like, when you're done, just give me a call. I'll come pick you up and i'll take you to the airport so i went to the embassy when i got to the embassy guys it was a smooth process it was very fast they just took photos of me and then they just printed the photos um printed my temporary passport and that was it i was good to go the only thing is that the money it took for me to replace my passport was just too much me booking an extra ticket and stuff so I had to book a ticket. I think I had to book a ticket now to New York to connect my flights that I had booked from New York to South Africa. 
and yeah that's what i did book the flight and i was off to go and i was good to go um the one thing that was a lot was when i had to board on to the plane you know like by the border leaving america was it was not easy like i was searched my bags were searched um i remember they took me to a room where they just searched me from like head to toe they searched me they checked me and i could see my bag was there they were checking my bag like they're going through my stuff you know i feel like they thought maybe i'm trying to smuggle drugs or something i don't know but they searched me i literally felt like a criminal um and then i yeah i got onto the flight and flew to new york and i met up with one of my friends also viewe and we flew together to south africa because we had booked our tickets for the same day we flew together and yeah i flew back home when i arrived back home i was searched you know like i was searched again like head to toe my bags were searched and but i had like i didn't really mind but i didn't mind because i was not hiding anything and i was just asked a lot of questions on to where am i coming from what was i doing there what happened to my passport you know all those questions and if i had to give you any advice if you're traveling overseas do not do not like guard your passports with your life because it is just such a mission to get a new one so imagine if you in like the state is very far from washington dc and you need to fly to washington dc to get a temporary passport so yeah guys that is my story of losing my passport a few days before i had to fly back to south africa and if i had to also advise anybody traveling overseas um anytime soon or one day you plan to travel overseas just find out where your embassy is in that country that you're going to visit it's very important like i didn't know anything about our embassy i didn't know it was in washington dc i only find out because i needed help so just find out information how far it is to where you're traveling you know do you need to take a flight there or you can take a bus or a taxi or whatever just find out those things um also maybe just save the number in your contact list in case of an emergency because you just never know losing a passport is not it, it, it can happen to anybody you know it can happen to anybody even though i was out partying you know i was a bit careless but it can literally happen to anybody you know i've had um, somebody lose their passport that i traveled with before but that was on another internship which was also overseas and funny enough her passport a few months a few months later yeah, a few months later it was sent to the address where we used to work so with my passport actually i forgot to say i feel like it was stolen it was stolen with my bank card because remember i said there were these guys that were staying in america they were also on the internship but they decided to stay in america i remember when i was asking everybody there to see my passport and he sent me a message on facebook if i have a screenshot if i can find the conversation i'll put it up and he was asking me, um, does my bank card have money? And I was like, no. Like, he was asking a lot of questions about my bank card. And I was just like, no, it does not have money, you know. And I felt like for somebody who, like, for somebody who's just lost a passport, you're more concerned about my bank card, whether it has money. He just, his questions were a bit... Mm -mm. like they were raising like my brows good uh, i feel like this guy stole my passport and my bank card thinking maybe there's money because honestly when you decide to stay in america it's it's not that easy it's not that easy you don't have family there you don't have a job there at first it's difficult you need a place to stay unless if now you found somebody you know 
people do that they find people they stay there they get married but if you just decide to stay and you're illegal you can't even find a job it's yeah it is quite difficult so i feel like maybe he stole my passport but i don't know i could be wrong and i feel like if my passport was lost somebody found it they would have handed it over to the police or whatever and then it would have been posted to disney or something you know but my passport was unfortunately never ever ever found and i've never actually replaced it i don't know why i think because i'm not planning on traveling out anytime soon um so yes guys um i hope you learned a little bit i hope you learned something from the story not only just a funny story um it's funny now but back then you guys i was actually in tears and yeah so i hope you enjoyed the story time if you did please give it a thumbs up do not forget to comment if you have any comments um don't forget to share the video and i will definitely see you guys in my next video bye